Good afternoon, Variance fans. I am on the Trices Chess Discord, and I have to make a move in Musketeer Chess against the inventor of Trices Chess, Ed Trice. So my last move, if you were watching my videos yesterday, was I, um, what, what, what was my last move? Oh yeah, I played knight to g6, hitting this cobra, which is actually a hawk in standard Musketeer Chess, but in Ed's game that he calls Muskgate which is a combination of Musketeer and Stargate. He calls the uh, Cobra, I mean, he calls a Hawk a Cobra, and he calls a Unicorn a Pegasus, which I'm okay with, because I think that, um, for one thing, I use, like, a Hawk in, like, um, Sarawan Chess and an Eagle and Metamaki, so I don't really like calling it anything but a Cobra. So, And this is a cobra, the same Cobra that's in Stargate, so I prefer to call it a Cobra myself. And then I like the idea of a Pegasus instead of a Unicorn, I think I talked about that in the videos yesterday, so I won't belabor the point. But the point of this video is I want to show you how I'm going to make my next move. And I'm going to do it two different ways. If you were watching those videos yesterday, you know what those two different ways are. The two different ways, and I'm trying to get from this diagram here to this diagram here. And then I'm going to make my move. So first we'll go to the board painter, which is on Musketeer Chess. Right there, boom, see? You guys get that memorized? So we go to the board printer thing. Now, here we're just looking at an 8 by 8 board, which you can actually play Musketeer on it, but you want to have those gating areas for your diagrams. So let's go ahead and pick the um, TXT file we made yesterday, and this is it. Okay, so we already know that Ed's reply, which is common sense, is that he... Now I should say it's intuitive. Say it's common sense would be putting it, you know, a little strongly, because, hey, it can be like a an intermezzo or something, right? So. Uh, now, as far as what we're going to call this right here, let's call this move 36 plus 1. So we're going to call it, we're just save that. And we're going to make this, um, it's getting mad at me. Okay, so then we'll change this to not 36, because that was white's, that was black's move. That was my move. Okay, so boom, 37. Oh, shoot. Um, let me see where that download. Okay, this thing's kind of weird. It makes me sit, hit save as. So then I want to put this in the uh, captures. No, no, not captures. I want to put it in the Musketeer versus Ed. Okay, so we got... Oh, man, it's got TXT in there twice. Jeez, okay. All right, so syntax problems. All right, now um, let's save the image. Okay. Just hit return. All right, now it's time for my move. All right, well, I don't think that we have to think too hard about this one. It's not to say that my position's great or anything, but as I mentioned earlier, I think I'm just going to go ahead and eat this cobra while I, while the eating's good. Nom, 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 nom. And I'm sure Ed has some, like, ingenious uh, move prepared for me that will make me regret doing that, but that's okay. I mean, I think he expects me to take it, right? He probably would have told me, like, whatever you do, don't take that, because I got something prepared for that. He's nice like that. He tells me when he's got ingenious moves prepared that he's going to kick my butt with. Let's see now. Oh, I'm putting that TXT in there. All I actually needed to do, rather than copy and paste, was just change the 7 to an 8. Okay, so anyway, if it's an even number, it's a black move. And if it's a odd number, it's a white move. That's because this is 38 ply. 38 ply means we're on move 19. Okay, so I'll save that. Now, this is the important one part right here for Discord. I need to have this move to save to Discord, okay? Now, since we've done that, I might as well immediately show you guys how I'm going to upload that. Now, I just go here and say, hey, guess what? You know that picture I just made? I want to put that there. So then I'll say, let's see, what was the last move? Did he even say? Well, I don't know, but I think it must have been 19, knight takes d5. So my move is uh, knight takes h8. Double exclamation. Should I put exclamation points over there? No, we'll just put one. Ed likes to give me a hard time when I put exclamation points. He said, oh, I don't know why you put double exclamation points after that move. It was terrible. <laughs> so, oh, you know, did he even? Yeah, he said 965. Okay, see, I got the move right. I'm good at math, you guys. 38 divided by 2 is? All right, so, see, I put the double exclamation points yesterday. And then Ed said, not sure I'd give a double exclams when there's this obvious line that's 20 moves long. 20 pi move. 20 plies. Yeah. 
All right, so that was kind of the easy part in a way because I'm used to doing this board stuff, the diagram stuff. Now, here comes the part that not everybody's good at. You know why? Because this is a very like cumbersome website. Even me, who's been on this website a million times, has a tough time. I have a tough time on this website, so even now, but I, I'm getting used to it. Okay, so as you already saw, we just need to simply... Okay, so first of all, I have to go here. I'm using my pointer for this one. In the previous videos, I think I was just using my fingers, and you couldn't really tell on the touch screen what I was doing. So really, this would be better. I'm showing you knight takes queen, and then I have to come over here and confirm, and then I have to sit here and wait until it beeps. Come on, beep. Come on, beep. I can't do anything until it beeps. See, I'm like... There's a beep. Okay, boom. So we go here. That takes there. And boom. And there you go, people. So now I have... I wonder if I could copy and paste this. I'm going to try something. Let me see if I can do a print screen. See if I can do a print screen. Can I do that? Oh, I think so. I'm trying to launch an app. Let's see. How do I do a print screen here? I'm crazy. I want to try to do a print screen. Here we go. Okay, so we're still doing the video. This will be fun. I'm just going to do this to mess with it. You're like, what is that crap? Okay, so we've got that copied, right? So I should just be able to go in here and change it to Control V, and uh, there you go. This will just anybody who hasn't been watching my videos on the Discord will be like, "What in the heck? Where did you get that?" So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of comments I get from the Peanut Gallery here. Now remember, this is Discord Trices Chess, other variants with Chancellor and Archbishop. Okay, so I'll close out of there. Oh wait, yeah, I'll close out of there. Actually, I'll just change screens. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave this open because Ed's probably going to make a move later today. And then I guess maybe I'll leave this. I'll go ahead and close this. I can come back to this whenever. So, that's about it, you guys. Well, I got you all in here. Let's see if I got any moves on green chess. Oh, what do you know? I got two moves. So here's your little bonus Easter egg for this video. I'm going to make some green chess moves. Yeah, this guy, he's, he's playing almost a real-time game. So I expect him to go here, right? Let's go, ha ha, what are you going to do now? My pawn guards that pawn. Okay, next one, Berlina. Now we're on a sort of almost. Oh, look at that. He's hitting that pawn. He's, can you believe that? What are we going to do to guard that pawn? Got two moves. Queen up one or queen over. I think I like the queen over. Okay, so. Yeah, queen over. Okay, so I've got that pawn guarded. In case you guys are not that brilliant with the chancellor and queen. There you go. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share it, leave, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about Musketeer Chess. And if you like the names Cobra and Pegasus more than Hawk and Unicorn, respectively, let us know how many uh, times you've been on Green Chess and Chess Variants pages. And um, let us know what variants you'd like to see in some future videos. And uh, so make sure to. Just let us know and share and subscribe and like this video. And we look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.